project, we're going to work with color dilution. So like you can see here, uh, this part is darker than this part. And what I did was to use some clear glass on top of some transparent glass to kind of push the color away or dilute the color. I've done it on, an, on another project before here. You can see this spot was diluted and this spot was not. Actually, what I had attempted to see was if I doubled up on the transparent glass, would it actually make it darker? And it didn't. It, it really it didn't make a difference to double up on the same color, but it did make a difference to place a piece of clear glass on top of the colored glass. So this that's what we're going to do in this project see it here uh, and you'll notice that this bowl is bigger than the projects I usually make and that's because I got a larger kiln and the diameter of the inside diameter of my new kiln is 15 inches and so I'll be able to do larger pieces like bowls and it'll also allow me to do multiple pieces at once so this is very exciting for me so we're going to so the glass that we're using for this project is some clear tecta and a peacock a transparent peacock blue so let's get to cutting and let's start this project so i'm going to start cutting out two circles that are about eight and a half inches in diameter and i'm using a circle cutter for that um, cutting circles always kind of makes me nervous, but we'll see. So what I was afraid would happen did happen and my peacock green ended up breaking into four pieces but that's okay we could cover it up we could cover the cracks up with our design and we're gonna do a full fuse so it'll stick back together and they might be like a little hairline uh, which hopefully we can cover up so I'm going to take my peacock green and place it on top of my circle of uh, tecta, both three millimeters. Try to realign these silly cracks. You can barely tell there's that they're there. Okay, I cleaned my pieces and after cleaning my pieces, I found my center and I put a sh black Sharpie dot. So I made this template because what I want is to have like eight quadrants or eight pieces. And I want to have one that's plain and then one that has the color um, dilution effect. I'm going to try to make it so that the quadrants that have the cracks in them will have glass on top so we could put some extra support to help take care of that crack. So I went ahead and I, you know, spent a Thursday evening sorting through some um, frit that I had, some clear frit. 
and went and put them into four different categories uh, small medium large extra large and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a small in the center and then as we move out to go to larger and larger pieces Once I'm done with a piece, I just move on to the next by moving my template. And I did get pieces all along the crack, so hopefully that won't show. So here it is. So hopefully it comes out the way I imagined it. Um, so along with the color displacement, what's going to happen in these areas where we have the extra, um, the extra glass is it might scallop the edges a little bit and push it out because it's going to be thicker and it's going to want to go to a six millimeter thickness. With the two glasses here, we have a six millimeter thickness and we're adding about another two to three millimeters with this frit. So it might distort the edges and I'm not, I'm not very upset about that because the mold that we're going to be draping over has scalloped edges. And I chose to make eight sides because this has eight little scallops to it. So I'm going to take it to a full fuse in the new big kiln, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I'll see you when it's done. This is the piece out of the kiln. And we could see here the color displacement. And if I put my hand underneath, you could see it even better. I really like how this came out and you can't see any of the the breaks the cracks that were in there so this is really really awesome so the next step is going to be to slump it and like i said this is the mold that uh, we're gonna use i'm going to treat it with some boron nitride uh, it gives it a smoother finish when you slump something or you drape something so we're gonna drape uh, using boron nitride hopefully it'll get rid of uh, all these brush marks on it and because this is a rather shallow mold uh, what I'll do is when I put it in the kiln I'm going to put um, the stainless steel mold underneath just to elevate it so when the piece drapes over it um, it doesn't touch the bottom of the kiln it shouldn't just to be on the safe side. So I'll just try to align it so that I have the tops of my swooshes here, my little swooshes aligned with uh, one of the uh, scallops on the bowl and try to get it as centered as possible. So it didn't scallop as much as I thought it would because of the extra glass on top, but that's okay will still get a very nice shape to it once it's done. So off to get slumped it goes and our project will be finished. Here's the finished bowl holding some decorative elements. I'm going to take them out. So 
So it has a beautiful shape, as you can see. And our swooshes did end up in the the little scallops, so I'm glad. Um, it it wasn't quite centered on the mold, so it came that this side's a little higher than this side. But I mean, you could play it up as a design element. Uh, I still really really like it, and I love how the color dilution came out. It looks like little, you know, animal spots or something. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, if you did, please like this video. Uh, I'm going to leave you with some pictures at the end. And again, if you do make one of my projects, I would love if you tag me on Instagram or just link to your, to your projects. I would love to see them. And thank you to those who have subscribed. And if you're new here, uh, why not subscribe? I try to upload a video once a week on Mondays or Sundays. And uh, I'll leave you with some pictures.